Matt here with Uniweld Products. This is Uniweld's NitroView Nitrogen Flow Indicator, and this is Nitrogen Purging Simplified. The NitroView easily connects in line with any nitrogen regulator and was designed to be protected from impact in case the tank tips over. The precision adjustable valve gives complete control over the flow of nitrogen, and the bright orange float ball provides a visual indication that nitrogen is actually flowing. The easy to read flow indicator label has two zones clearly marked for purging and brazing, and there is a safety blow off valve that will open at 200 psi to prevent overpressurizing. Now I'm going to show you how to braze a copper fitting together with nitrogen flowing through the line to prevent oxidation and the resulting scale. So I have two pieces of copper tubing set up here. My top tube is open at both ends and exposed to the ambient air, and the bottom tube at one end is open. The other end is closed with an axis fitting brazed into it. Now attached to that axis fitting I have the nitrogen tank. So we're going to braze two pairs of copper fittings together, one on the top tube and one on the bottom tube with the nitrogen flowing through it, and we'll take a look at the difference. First, I'll dial in the delivery pressure on the regulator to 60 psi. This is the required pressure for the NitroView to work properly. Then I will open the valve and raise the ball up to the purge zone and allow the air present in the tubing to be pushed out. Now, if your flow ball does not rise, this means that there's static pressure and the nitrogen isn't able to flow. So you have to make sure that your system is open at both access points so the nitrogen can flow freely. After 10 to 15 seconds of purging, I can bring the float ball back down to the braze zone. Now in this zone, the nitrogen will be flowing at three to five SCFH. And it's important to have this low flow of nitrogen because if there's too much flow, the nitrogen will actually push back on your joint going to cause pinholes in your alloy. It's not going to give you a very good seal on your joint. So it's important to have your nitro view set in the braze zone to give you that low flow of nitrogen. Now let's go ahead and braze these joints. Safety first. By flowing the nitrogen through the tubing during brazing, oxidation will be prevented. Oxidation is the chemical reaction that occurs between copper and oxygen when heat is applied. Now this chemical reaction forms a layer of black flaky scale on the tubing called copper oxide. So all the scale that you see on the outside of the tubing after brazing a joint is actually also happening on the inside. And it's important to prevent the scale buildup inside the tubing because when it combines with the refrigerant it will form a sludge that can clog the TXV valve and other components leading to system failure. By flowing nitrogen through the line during the brazing process, the oxygen is displaced inside the tubing and the copper oxide will not form. I'm just going to cool these two joints with a wet rag and wipe off the scale that formed on the outside of the tubing so that when I do the tap test, we will only see what falls out of the inside of the fittings. Now, as I tap the fittings on this white table, you can see the black scale falling out of the joint brazed without the nitrogen. The joint that was brazed with nitrogen flowing through it has no scale to fall out and is perfectly clean on the inside. I'll just cut these joints open to get a better look on the inside. Uniweld's NV1 Nitro Review is truly nitrogen purging simplified. Thanks for watching. I'm Matt with Uniweld, quality tools that go to work with you.